Great, don't let me go and pray. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So with this video today, we're gonna to be talking about Healthier Choices Management Company, ticker symbol HCMC stock, and kind of why this stock has been falling over the last couple of trading days, some current news and updates revolving around this stock right now. And then finally, at the end of the video, I wanna break down some of the technical analysis and kind of what I'm seeing right now with the charts and where I expect it to be going in the next couple of trading days. So if you are new to this channel, on this channel, we talk about day trading, swing trading, long-term investing, as well as current stock market updates. So if any of that interests you at all, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And also, if you get some value from this video today, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me, helps the video out, and it helps the channel grow. So thank you so much in advance for doing that. So we all know HCMC stock has been one of the most popular penny stocks in the market over the last couple of weeks due to its massive amounts of volatility. So the stock has been hyped up by the Reddit communities who really believe the stock is set to explode. So with this video today, I want to share some good news and also some bad news about HCMC stock. But before I do that, I want to talk just like I did in my last video when I talked about HCMC stock, the amount of risk and how this play is strictly just a speculative play. So before you invest your hard earned money into this stock, make sure to do your own research, do your own due diligence and only invest what you are willing to lose. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the bad news first. So HCMC stock was down around 30% on Friday's trading session, closing at 0.00175. To begin, for those of you that don't know much about Healthier Choices Management Corporation, Healthier Choices Management Corporation is a Florida-based company that has a focus on helping people live healthier lives and also providing solutions that include vitamins, supplements, healthy and beauty products, and also they have an organic grocery store. They also have a business that focused on vape products, which is essentially a healthier version of tobacco products. This side of the business is actually one of the main reasons as to why so many investors are interested in this stock in the first place. So right now, HCMC is actually in an ongoing lawsuit that they filed back in November of 2020 when they filed a patent infringement in a lawsuit against Philip Morris, ticker symbol PM. So the lawsuit actually states allegations that the IQOS product from Philip Morris violates a patent that HCMC has for an electric pipe. So many investors actually have the hope that Philip Morris and HCMC stock will eventually settle this lawsuit in favor of HCMC stock. But more news actually on this lawsuit came out recently that wasn't in favor of Healthier Choices Management Corporation. So Philip Morris is actually looking to clear themselves from this lawsuit and not through a settlement. They actually recently filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit with prejudice in the U.S. District Court. So a motion, for those of you that don't know exactly what that is, a motion is a written request to the court to ask for a decision. So this isn't the same as a counterclaim, which is good news for someone who is currently invested in HCMC stock. So in this motion, it states that Philip Morris says HCMC doesn't have its backing for its patent infringement lawsuit. Philip Morris actually states that its IQOS device doesn't function the same way as HCMC actually thinks. So what does this mean for current investors in HCMC stock? So to put it simply, this isn't going to be a smooth road to the end. It's simply going to be a very hard case for HCMC stock to win, just like any other case that is involving this much money. So after talking about why HCMC stock has been falling over the last couple of days, some of their current news right now revolving around the lawsuit with Philip Morris, I really want to get into my computer and kind of talk about some of the technical analysis, the current price action, and some critical levels that I'm seeing right now with HCMC stock and where I expect it to be going in the next couple of trading days. So let's jump into my computer screen right now and begin to break that down. All right, everyone. So we're in my computer screen right now looking at Healthier Choices Management Corporation, ticker symbol HCMC stock. So I really want to make this technical analysis very quick and to the point. And right now, what we're seeing from the 180 day four hour chart is we're seeing this aggressive sell off. So we can see that it recently hit highs of 0 0.0065 cents a share. And ever since then, it's been aggressively selling off back down to where it previously was at around 0 0.008 you know, cents to 0 0.001 cents a share. So uh, if we just kind of go to the 90 day one hour chart, we can see that this stock has been, you know, aggressively selling off and there's really no signs of it changing its direction. So the first thing I want to do is I want to draw some critical levels here and we can see that there is a strong support at kind of where it is right now at 0 0.0017 cents a share. So I'm just going to draw that support in right there. And there's also another support and critical level range at around 0 0.001 cents a share. So I'm just going to simply draw that in as well. And if we kind of go back up to the highs, well, we can see that there, there is another one here at around 0 0.0046 and there's probably another one here at around 0 0.0034. So I think the last time that we talked about this stock, 
it was trading around this range at around 0 0.004 uh, cents a share. And if we just go to a uh, smaller time frame, we, uh, like I said before, there's three stages of a reversal pattern. And the last stage is the confirmation phase. And we simply have never seen that yet in this particular stock, which is why I was never heavily invested in HCMC. And I still have not yet to see that particular pattern uh, form. And I really wanna kinda get into that a little bit more. So if I just kinda go to my drawing tools uh, and clear my drawing set just to have a, a better view, if I go to the five day, five minute chart, we can see that this stock has been aggressively selling off. So what I mean by selling off is that it's making lower highs and lower lows. So it pushes down, comes back up, but not as high as it previously was before, comes back down, pushes up, but not as high as it previously was before. And for us to get out of this rejection phase, the first thing that I really would like to see is, number one, I would like to see it consolidate at a, at a support range. So there is a solid support here at around 0 0.0017 cents a share. So, you know, if it can consolidate here for a couple of days, that is the first, uh, you know, phase of this reversal pattern. So the rejection phase, which is what we're going through now, and then the consolidation phase, where is this support going to be at? Is it going to be at 0 0.0017 or is it going to continue to sell off? And is it going to be at, you know, 0 0.0010 uh, per, per share, you know? This support range is the most critical level that we need to determine. And once we kind of determine that from the stock, then the next phase is the confirmation phase. And what I mean by confirmation is one, I would like to see it confirm its uptrend by breaking above the exponential moving average indicator on the 180 day four hour chart. But even more, if we go to the five day, five minute, the more intraday time frame, we can see that this stock, number one, it doesn't really have too much volume. So I would like to see it break out of this uh, simple moving average indicator to the upside. And then once it does break out of this descending pattern, that's not that's not all. I would like to see it push up, come back down, and hold this old resistance as a new support, showing signs of higher highs and higher lows, and really breaking out of this reversal pattern and kind of going back up to the upside. But right now we can see that yes, there is a lot of margin built into this stock right now, over 200% if it does go back up to its previous highs that it was at a couple of weeks ago. But still, this one is strongly uh, re in the rejection phase. There is no uh, solid support that is identified right now, but we can see that there could be one here at around 0 0.0017 or even lowers at 0 0.0012. But simply going to continue to follow up with this, number one, see how HCMC reacts to what Philip Morris stated. But looking at the technicals, we can see that the RSI it look, is looking a little bit oversold. The maxi is looking a little bit oversold, but we still have no confirmation. And that's really what I wanted to stress in this video today. So just kind of be aware of that. Have your alerts set for a break below the support for a break above this descending pattern that we saw on the five day, five minute chart. And then just kind of wait for it to show signs of growth, making higher highs and higher lows, exactly the opposite of what we're seeing with it right now. All right, everyone. So that's just a quick update on some of the technical analysis, the current critical levels, and also the price action that I'm seeing right now with HCMC stock. And also, the patent infringement lawsuit against Philip Morris and some of the news revolving around that. But before I end this video, just make sure that you stay up to date with exactly what HCMC does over the next couple of days and actually how they respond to Philip Morris. But until then, do your own research on the company, know the risk involved before you invest any of your hard-earned money into the stock, and begin to come up with a plan of exactly how you're going to uh, invest in HCMC stock, when you're going to buy, when you're going to sell, and also when you're going to cut your losses if the play doesn't go your way. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me, helps the video out, and it helps the channel grow. And also, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and I would love to have you a part of the channel. So that's all I have for you in this video today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.